morning America. Good morning America. Well, my trip to Inwa was amazing. It was great to go home, to do the most amazing things that I did, and to definitely go to my house where I was born and raised. Um, definitely was emotional. It was very emotional and beautiful at the same time. I will never forget this moment and never I never take trips for granted ever um, no trip that I take but this trip was very much legacy um, I'm always trying to teach my daughters about legacy always remembering their grandparents who really paved the way for the lifestyle that we truly do have and um, I don't think that that should ever lie doormat. I think that um, I should always remind my children about how amazing their grandparents were, um, how I became amazing is because of them, the parent that I am is because of them. And so I always, you know, talk to my daughters about how my parents leveled up because life is about leveling up, right? You know, you don't, I think everybody want to level up. And my dad showed us, me and my siblings at a very young age, how to do that. And through his life, through my mother's life and the life that they afforded us and how they afforded it for us. And so I always share that story of how my dad worked so hard for his family and my mom being his helpmate literally they were the most amazing black family duo marriage that I have ever encountered personally up close right and I seen them work together as a team from the day I met them and that says a lot because I actually um, departed my parents in death I was the child that you know, I was there till my dad died. Um, as a grown-up, I never left home. I, I love my parents so much. I was never leaving. When I divorced my um, their my children's father, I I was with my parents all the way. And my parents taught me how to take care of my children. And one thing my dad shared with me, he said, you know, you have children, but that your the world is not over. Life is not over. He said. What I, cause he knew it was a little distraught for me. So he said, daughter, you're gonna be okay. You know, I'm gonna show you how to take care of your children, period. And he did that. And that's why I am the mother that I am today. I had a praying mother, you know, my dad did his part and my mom did her part. And the two together was just the most amazing dynamic duo ever. I, I have so many, stories that I tell about my life and my upbringing and all the crazy things that I went through like as a child living in New York being a girl from Brooklyn on my YouTube channel I share them all and I don't hold back because I don't care about what someone may think or say because it's my life and look at me now everybody has a story everybody has a testimony and I feel that people should share it so that someone else can get some joy and someone else can get some uplifting and someone else can feel better and know that, you know, in this life, you're really not alone. Uh, people do go through the same things that you go through. And so this trip was just about legacy. It was about the fundamentals of Herbert Miller and Bertha Miller. And um, I always tell my children, as long as I live, my parents will live. 
And so I'm teaching that to them because, of course, I hope I exceed them. They exceed me in life. Um, I already buried a child, so I don't want to bury any more. So they will probably be the ones to carry on legacy for my life and my parents' life because my children, my children, uh, they knew what I went through. They knew uh, the, the, the process. And so it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great story on the end, how everything just came together. And so I tell my stories. Um, one thing my mother told me before she preceded us in death, she told me, daughter, don't stop talking. And so here I am on YouTube, here I am on Facebook, here I am on TikTok, using these platforms, using these uh, opportunities to share my life and just really try to find out what my mom meant when she said, don't stop talking. And of course, you know, I let the Lord lead me as I go every time. So um, keep, you know, tuning in, hit that notification button uh, for all of my followers, friends, subscribers, family members. Um, thank you for the love that you show me on my platforms all the time. Um, it's just motivating me to, you know, know that the journey is real and it. I would not take it for granted, and it is my purpose. It is it's, it is a part of who I am, life after 50. I am 50 years old, yet still, until December 2014, 2023, I mean 2020, yeah, 2023, and um, I'm just glad about it. I'm glad to uh, be in this number one more time to come home to beautiful 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 new york city i'm surrounded by my city right now as i talk to you all it's a fabulous day i have all the beautiful views all the beautiful situations that i have encountered here in new york this is just one video kind of like tallying it up how i felt um and i feel good i feel blessed i feel blessed to share the journey a lot of people won't get to New York. A lot of people won't get to Brooklyn. A lot of people won't see the things that I've seen. And I want you to know that through my videos, I want you to know that anything and all things are possible. If you just believe, work hard, affirm it, claim it, touch it. A lot of things, you know, my family does, you know, we, we go touch it first and then we plan it and then we execute and it happens you know you got to have a plan and you got to have a purpose and uh, also this trip was a recharge for me you know like an ever ready battery <laughs> ever ready battery a Duracell you know what I mean it was that for me I needed a recharge a girl from Brooklyn a lot of times in life you know life gets me down you know life takes me on a whirlwind you know um, I was battling with depression menopause, loss, hurt, pain, like, you know, I'm a daddy's girl, I'm a mama's girl, you know, I'm, I'm all of that, like, you know, I had my pastor who was my, uh, turned Bush bishop, um, he was the bishop of Brooklyn, New York, El Elder R.B. Baker Jr., you know, he passed recently, and, you know, he was my godfather all my life, and, you know, just, just having the people, you know, that, paved the way for me and loved me the way they did, you know, and not having them here, you know, it, it's it's real, you know, I'm a real person I hurt like anybody else, you know and so I, I just I'm, I just try to stay grateful for the life that God has afforded me through those people, through those prayers through those opportunities and so I try not to let the devil get, you know, his, his, his way with my life because I have no room for him. There's no space in my life for him. There's, there's nothing for him in my whole entire family. Like, I, I plead the blood of Jesus over our lives against the enemy. Because he will try to always come and rob, steal, kill, and destroy you in your situations and make you feel this way or that way. But I'm here to tell all of you, trouble don't last always. Depression don't have to last. Hurt don't have to last. Lost don't have to last. 
pain don't have to last. And just keep coming back. And I'll keep showing you what I'm doing because here, what I say out my mouth is all what I know, what I've experienced, what I've done, what I've accomplished. I don't talk about nobody else on my channel because I've been through so much, I don't have to talk about nobody else. And I will never give you advice that I will not give myself. I will only tell you what worked for me, what was the best thing for me, and how those things worked for my good. So, um, thank you. If you're on YouTube watching this, continue to like, share, and subscribe. Tell your friends, all your good girlfriends, your cousins, your sisters. Uh, Regina Miller is she's lit she's here she, she's helping us out she loves us on YouTube my family I see y'all all the time I browse you know I see you keep doing what you're doing I'm proud of everybody who's able to just do something great in your life um, uh, TikTok thank you for the love I mean like literally the love is there and um it just motivates me again to just keep going on. And every time I get a note or an inbox or a call or a text saying something wonderful, it just lets me know that this is what I'm supposed to be doing. So God bless. Have a great 4th of July, 2023. And Godspeed all the way. Blessings forward. And you know I'm coming back with another one. I got so many videos of New York and all the things that I've done and just all of the things since I turned 50 I have just like soared and I just want to share that with you all because it, everybody don't make it to 50 and everybody don't get to look like this at 50 and I'm not saying I'm the best looking person or anything else but I'm saying I'm not on medication I don't go to the doctor um, I'm living off Jesus love. I'm living off I'm living off Jesus medicine. I'm living off Jesus guidelines. I'm living off Jesus lifestyle. <laughs> I'm living off Jesus purpose like hey. And that's the difference. So God bless you and many more.